Um, I just booted the game, but this is new. Um, it says, what am I doing? The first time you booted up the game, you set the time to 1.55 p.m. Did I? That's fantastic. You did a great job with that one. This time you simply entered 12, the default value. You didn't even try. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. Perhaps you don't think that it's worth taking the time to set the clock correctly? Do you think I would ask you to set the clock if it weren't an integral part of the gameplay experience? <laughs> I'm not trying to get angry. It's just that a lot of people ignore these gameplay settings altogether because we don't care. No offense. Look, next time you be out the game and see the screen, do me a favor. Actually, set the time, okay? Okay, good. Glad we had this talk. I'm gonna get back to the video game now. Did I set it as 1:55 p.m. Because last time I recorded it at like 10 o'clock at night. Same with this one. But uh, welcome back to the Stanley Parable. Back by popular demand, I've been getting screamed at by people to play this, I'm joking, Ivan, but you know who you are, I'm not going to name names, but if you're watching this, you're welcome, um, <laughs> just having a sip of my coffee before we get into this, um, so, just to get the new content, um, because I kind of brushed over the new content door, assuming it's still there, if not, don't know what to do, but we're going to skip the intro, because we've heard this before, I got an achievement, aha, this is where I left off before, this is exactly what it looked like, so... Let's get it. Cool. Now, I haven't played this in a while, so I, f I do forget the whole Stanley. Well, I, I know about Stanley, but I do forget the whole, like, shebang. Stanley, <laughs> come over here in the vent. I want to show you something. But what's up here? I want to see what's up here. Oh, I get a choice. Um, okay, the vent's cooler. Let's go to the vent. What what is this? Coffee nut, coffee nut. Okay, there's nothing here. I guess I jump down. We. Imagine I got stuck there. Just couldn't get back <laughs> to the real game. The end is never. The end is never. The end is loading. The end is loading. <laughs> Whatever that means. Okay, cool. Here we go. Okay. You remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Yeah. It got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find oh. it. Oh. Just our little... <laughs> what the fuck? We got a whole shrine up in here. Oh, this is scenic. I like this. I call it the memory zone. The memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Oh. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't here for the launch. I was like 11, 10. I, I didn't even own a PC back then, so I didn't know what this game was about, but 2013. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was? Is that the Steam page? <laughs> That's cool. Remember back in October of 2013? When the game originally launched. 24 uh. Back then, video games had integrity. <laughs> back then, it all meant something. <laughs> Our first kiss, my first car, the release of the Stanley Parable. <laughs> Is the Stanley Parable better than having a girlfriend and getting married? Yes, that's why I'm playing this game. <laughs> uh, wait, is that? Oh, wait, that's the ending. Like the normal ending, I think. That's where like, the screen is. Stand this. The Stanley Parable Collector's Edition. That, that was a thing? Audience Award 2014 Independent. Oh, it, is this all real? Is that a BAFTA? I don't know. Good times. Oh, it's the original going through the office and that. Oh my god, that's cool. Oh, was that the... Okay, I got sent a picture of this last week. Like the actual page. I didn't know this was, this was a thing. The original remake, yeah. What does this say? Be my Valentine. Of course, of course. I got nowhere else to be. <laughs> Trip down memory lane. Oh, there's the CD. Smile because it happened. I I will. A dollar. Is that how much it cost back then? A dollar. It was like five pound for me. Demo. There was a demo. <laughs> what the fuck? Unachievable. It's impossible to get this achievement. Don't go outside. Don't play for... Is that, a, is that a real achievement? Don't play for five years? Bro. 
<laughs> I might try that on the wait. Yeah, I have the original game on Steam. What if I just don't play that version for five years? Oh, I'm gonna be 20, 25, 26 when I load that game back up. Oh uh, no, getting old. Uh, nominee game. Oh my god, this is so cool. Debut game story. New video game releasing today. Uh, something about businesses. Uh, okay. Stanley Powerball deals tough choice. There are some tough choices in the game. You're right. I like this. This is cool. Oh, we got a little park benches here. Okay, that view is nice though. I'm sorry. That's a great view. Um, I, I like the music. Bit of a weird uh, introduction to it, but sure. Okay. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Powerball. Oh. Like the stunning triumph of games journalism. <laughs> ten out of ten from destructoid.com. Definitely James heard of that website. Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote: "We're so many games that aspire to <laughs> end up less than anything of art. Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created." <laughs> Encompassing the original Stanley. So it was it was the voice that it was literally <laughs> every game ever created. Skyrim. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. Uh. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Let's go. I'm sorry, right? Like I, I love the Stanley Parable. I love Portal and I love Skyrim, right? But if I had to put them in a tier list, it will go. Oh, it will go Skyrim, Stanley Parable, Portal. I can't put Stanley Parable over Skyrim, like in terms of my favorite game. But it, it's up there because the comedy is just. Oh, it's my favorite. It's just the satirical nature of it, of it all. Uh, you were playing the star. I remember that screen I used that like two months ago when I last played the original game. Got the two doors. Person of that Stanley, person of the year. Uh, oh, is this them coding the game? Like tech. Oh, yeah, lighting, uh, textures. Oh, oh, it's Stanley, and I forget what her name was, but she was in the first game. Uh, you hate Mondays? I, I do too. Okay, I think I'm supposed to go in there, but I want to see what's down here first because I saw this. M memory zone maintenance. You would have thought the memory zone had maintenance, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, I thought the doors were going to shut. What does that say? The greatest wealth is memory. Ooh, okay, getting deep here. I want that smiley face button. How do I hit that smiley face? Is that... There's got to be a button, right? It looks like a button. What's this? Stanley Parable. Is this all real? I know that PC one in the middle is real because I've... Uh, I've seen, like, screenshots of that. Um, people holding it. But I don't know about this character's edition here. It's like one of those softwares, like... Back in the day, you could buy one of these boxes with a CD uh, ROM inside, put that in your PC's disk drive, a, like, DVD player thing, and you could just install the game as an EXE before, like, Steam came out and whatnot. Or, like, this just, uh, yeah. 2013, no, this would have been, like, the renaissance of stream, uh, stream, Steam, like, when this first came out. So, I don't know, I'm nerding out. Let's go back to the game. <laughs> like, this game gets the best There's out of me. moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It was nine out of ten. It didn't need anything else. <laughs> it didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memory. Ah. Oh, wait, so, oh, okay. So I thought, the like, this was celebrating the Stanley Parable's new content. No, he's, like, openly mocking it, I think. Because, like, he, he doesn't want the game to change. I mean, fair, the, the original game itself it is is great in his, in his uh, own mind, but... These were simpler times, Stanley. Yeah. But I wouldn't give to go back to have oh. all over again. This is open now. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. I, I don't. What's this? What's down here? Must find out. New se new secret ending in Stanley. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. This looks bleak. Oh no! Oh God no! Stanley, it's a 
collection of reviews from Steam. <laughs> I just mentioned Steve. No, because... <laughs> no, okay, so the the big meme is, like, any Steam game has, like, you have, like, 200, uh, like, 300,000 reviews that are, like, actually real reviews, and then all of it's just shitpost memes, like, Shrek is love, Shrek is life, um, like, this or your mum dies, like, stuff like that, so Steam is just... I've read some horrible Steam reviews, Steam and Xbox reviews combined. So I, I want to know what this is going to say. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and un... <laughs> with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. Ah. I'm trying to make a serious... Oh, sorry, I, I zoned I out. I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable. But the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insight <laughs> that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Oh god. It's just the fact like it, this has got like this really dull, like fisherman esque atmosphere, like you're on the dock with the rain, it's all wet, and you have this steam review crate. It, I don't know how to explain it. It just seems like what does it say? Not recommended. I can't read the text, but it says not recommended. It's a bit blurry. That, that can't be my graphics because everything else is fine. I think that's meant to be like that. Oh. Uh. I don't know what. Oh, recommended. Okay. Not recommended. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy, Stanley. I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always... Well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did. But maybe it wasn't. Oh, dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These oh, black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. <laughs> oh, fuck it off. <laughs> I'm trying to wrap my head around this whole thing. With the whole Steam review. I don't know, but... Let's, let's keep going. I'm really intrigued now. Let's just, uh, let's explore. Uh, I've got another review down here. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. <laughs> I wish there was a skip button. I wish there was a pause button. It's not like a man of the adventurer. Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive whoa. reviews of the standard. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Oh, I get Oh, okay. What is it? Oh, it is a skip button. Cool. And here oh. it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward right. in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people. <laughs> and if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue. And it goes something like this. The story and the choices or what have you. And therefore, by becoming it is, I... so on and so forth. Oh, he's, okay. Everybody. Is he going to keep talking like that? Or no? End of time. At which time, everything all at once. So, <laughs> now you see, blah, 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 blah. I'm using that, sorry. 
Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal <laughs> and many ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. Or... Maybe a manifesto. Look, I'll outline it for you very briefly, and you can tell me what. What if I, what if I press it again? So my theory is. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? Sport. But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof. <laughs> hey, welcome back, Stanley. Now, Hello. I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. <laughs> that last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. That's not that bad. It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. I think the skip button... No. <laughs> Stanley! Stanley, 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 please don't push the button. <laughs> Twelve hours. Twelve hours. You've just been frozen there. Let's I go for twenty-four. Are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my <laughs> job. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't like this. Oh my goodness, I had someone to talk to again. Hello. Stanley, I. <laughs> it's been a week. <laughs> week. Well, two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. Sorry, mate. I just couldn't care less. <laughs> it's been two weeks. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, hello. It's you. Hello. Here again. Welcome. Hi. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything. Oh, God. I've had so much time, I stopped keeping track. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunity. <laughs> I want to keep pressing it. I see. Oh. He's not talking. Oh no. Did he... Have I, have I broke him? He sounded like he was going to break up with me though. Um, don't narrator. I love you. Okay, fine. What is it with all these characters falling out of love for me these days? First it was Blabbit. I, 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 I killed him. So sad for him. Oh, that's doing my head in. Please let me skip. Please. Ah, my eardrum. Thank you. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. What is he? Where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? <laughs> they didn't where are the, yeah, where are the jokes? They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much, they said. He is talking too much. I, I think that's the whole point of the gag. Just, Just don't talk too much. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't even notice that. <laughs> What's happening to the building? I think we're about to collapse, guys. I think we're, I think we're fucked, though. End is never the 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 end is never It's the way he says the end. The end. I think the end is never. I think he's he's, he's not wrong. <laughs> Uh, am I supposed to not skip this? Am I supposed to skip this? I d I'm going to keep skipping. Oh, okay. How was... I, I know, like, the game's, like... Got the whole sense of, like, Stanley is, uh, like, not in control. Well, he is in control, but, like... He's not at the same time of his own destiny and stuff like that. But, like, surely my man's got to eat or something. I know it's a game, but... Has he been... St oh. There's the light now. But has he really been standing still this whole time? Just... It just sat at that button. Like, what has the narrator been doing? Uh, let's just let's keep skipping. Maybe maybe we'll get somewhere. Ah! We skipped that much in time. That little plant part has grown into a whole little... I don't even know. It's got its whole ecosystem going. Let's go again. Maybe we'll get bigger. Maybe I'll get... Maybe I'll become like a, a moth man. Or maybe the whole thing will die. That's also a good observation. I don't like that music. That, that, that noise. Stanley Parable's a horror game now. Let's go. Oh, I don't like that sound. I don't know if you can hear that. But it just made like a really weird 
screech my ear. Uh, I don't like this. Send me home. Let's skip it. Oh, oh. Oh, that, that button's fucked. That button is fucked, but I see a way out. I'm gonna go out. That is, oh, that's bright. Oh my god. This was all water before. Okay, wh where am I supposed to go? I'm going this way. I don't know if I'm meant to go that way. Please, God, something render in the distance. Please. I can't sprint or jump. Stanley's just wandering the, the desert. This is a story of a man named Stanley. Wait, wh where am I going? Am I meant to go over here? Am I supposed to click the skip button? Let me see if I can skip the button again. It's very painfully walking back. Don't mind me. Just cruising. Oh. Um, okay. Oh. Sh um, w we're back here? Sorry? Did I miss a vital part of that? Was I not meant to walk off? Or was that just the ending? Okay, well, we're back in the normal office. I don't really want that, but... You hate Mondays. Cool. See if we can find that Stanley again. I think I've been too late, but... What could it mean? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I love that voice. Haha! <laughs> oh! New, new content. It's new content squared. Oh, good. You noticed my sign. <laughs> I did. I have something very exciting to show you. All right, let's let's, let's go. Have I got to go through this whole thing again, like the roller coaster ride. It was fun the first time, but. Is it just going to show me the same thing? Because it's not new new content, is it? It's going to be just new content. If that is the case. We'll never know. Oh. Huh. Oh, no. Okay. It's just fast forward us to the uh, elevator. Cool. All right. So this is the jump circle it was, I think. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. <laughs> yeah. I think we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Whoa, the Stanley Parable 2? The end is never the end again. For two seven. Far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions. Yeah. All the new territory will cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely <laughs> new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so that? many possibilities? It could go in so many different Testing ways. two printers this at the same time. What fans have truly been asking for. Investor showcase the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> Taste the sequel. New and tasty. Uh, to tweet do uh, uh, dos tivo two <laughs> just the <laughs> fucking two <laughs> okay calling it the Stanley Parable two is just so much catchier than ultra deluxe don't you think off ultra painting deluxe? what does it even mean but the Stanley Parable two now that's an artistic statement right there <laughs> it's future oriented. It screams progress and just the two of us. <laughs> we can make it if we try. Just the two of us. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> great song. Great reference. Okay, what's in here? Oh, we all got a whole investor board. More TSP, better TSP. Win minus win. Sequential mindshare. The color red. Uh, paradigm shift, synergy, brick and mortar approach. Envelope client centric marketing. I don't know what that means. I'm not a mark. I don't, I don't know anything about marketing. They're back. Two doors in the Stanley Parable 2. New content is out. New content part two is in. Old and busted. New hotness. Cool red, <laughs> cool red section of the chart. They even got red cups. What does that say? Don't talk to me before I've had my sequel. Fair. Fair. Uh, uh, Stanley Parable 2 logo ideas. Oh, this is. <laughs> Thanks for attending my meeting. <laughs> Good old PowerPoint presentations. <laughs> You'd love to see it. Two, two. 
Oh, there's oh, two Stanleys. Ooh. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. <laughs> the development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical. He looks cool. Okay. This way to the show floor. Two. Sequels are good. Portal 2, yes, can confirm. Half-Life 2. Yep, I haven't finished that on the channel. Arkham Asylum 2. See, I've only played the first one. Divinity Original Sin 2. Haven't played either of them. Doom 2. Don't know. Aladdin 2. <laughs> nope. Dark Souls 2. No, fuck Dark Souls. Shit game. Dark Souls is uh, the bait of my life. Never playing a Dark Souls game ever again. This way to the show floor. New features. New content, boss. Let me in. No. Can I sit on the... No, I can't sit on the chairs. Even the expo hall, too. <laughs> this is sick. I love this. I'm loving this right now. Uh, oh, my God. It's a whole... Sh it is a whole, like, museum. Oh, my God. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Reassurance bucket. They have merch. Get your merch. What does it say? I saw the new content. Stanley Parable 2, too. <laughs> this is the big emphasis on two. I want to see what this is. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Hear your name in the game. Is actually going to say my name. For the Stanley Parable 2, I ask myself, what do players really want? And of course, Row to the perfect button. Is that they want <laughs> individually <laughs> recognized and validated as people. Mm. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Is actually gonna is actually gonna say my name. Jim. Sorry. <laughs> right now, the button only says the name Jim. Jim. Of course, in the final game, <laughs> this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, okay, let's again. role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. <laughs> I'm Jim now. I promise you'll love it. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to... I am, I am Jim. I am Jim. As Jim. Sleeping and waking as Jim. Jim. Whoa, 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 hold on. I wasn't finished setting up the backstory. <laughs> Jim. If you don't properly roleplay as Jim, then you'll never understand the impact of this button. Otherwise, it's just a stupid button that says somebody else's name. Okay, we're doing it again, and this time let me finish first. <clears throat> now, allow yourself to become Jim. Imagine yourself driving to work. <laughs> playing Frisbee on the weekends as Jim. Staying up all night for a popcorn and horror movie sleepover as Jim. Developing a crippling substance addiction as Jim. Oh, oh, I don't want to be Jim anymore. Discovering yourself through fringe religious groups as Jim. Jim. And finally, dying a slow death at an old age, surrounded by members of your cult as Jim. Do you feel it in your soul? Are you really, truly Jim right now? It's Jim. all right, fine. <laughs> just a meaningless button that's Jim. You happy now? Get out of here. I'm done with this button. Why don't you go humiliate me in front of a different <laughs> teacher that I worked very hard on? But Jim. <laughs> Can I forget the... Jim. See, if you'd only played along, Jim. that would have been Jim. your name Jim. the button Jim. says. Jim. 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 I'm taking the Jim button away. Jim. 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 <laughs> I like Jim. Jim's cool. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, on to the next one. I assume we go back through here. <laughs> Good old Jim. <laughs> what a goat. I'll tell you what, the quality and the game is Maybe really good. I'll only let people name me Jim play the Stanley Parable. You heard Jim in the game. <laughs> would appreciate what I've created here. Please, no screenshots. I pressed the screenshot button. A whole new, ooh, whole new office. Red is the new orange. The, the new updated ray traced more the same, but in a good way, sequel to <laughs> new features, new content, new ideas. Okay, cool. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game, Jump Circle Infinite Hole. 
I want to go to the infinite hole. Collectibles? What the fuck? This game has collectibles now? Oh, there's a fake Q. Free achievement. Uh, mo oh, okay. So this is a a an actual map. Okay. Free, new and easy achievement. I can't believe it's that simple. It just works. Hello. What do I do? Ah. Get yours right now. Pull the lever. Receive your achievement. No more step. Okay, cool. Where's the lever? Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? No. I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. <laughs> you see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology. <laughs> you are so. Achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley. Oh. Uh... fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. Um, for some reason, right click moves my guy forward. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I can just hold right click and he, he walks forward like if I'm pressing W, A, S, and D. That's, that's weird. What, what other exhibits haven't we seen? Infinite yet? hole. Let's see the infinite hole. What is this? No screenshots. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. Oh. I think that in the new version, it's like the Walking Dead game. Could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy Twelfth Birthday. <laughs> oh. Happy Twelfth Birthday, Stephanie's. <laughs> Happy Birthday. You know. Sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get <laughs> someday. It what? No, that's not what I picked. Oh. Actually, maybe I should have gone with. No, no, I've no. <laughs> We're moving on. The reassurance book. I'm gonna check that out last. I want to check these over here. I want to go to this infinite hole. The jump circle. Okay, I've seen that, so I assume that's the same. I assume if I go over here, we're going to find this infinite hole. I suppose we just fall in it in indefinitely. <laughs> Opening. Rim, death, infinite. Surrounding area. There's a bunch of things here. It just keeps going. Okay, it just keeps going. Stanley, here's an idea. <laughs> okay. I'm sure it has. in fact a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite hole. Infinite hole. You can fall until the end of time if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. That doesn't look terrifying. Let's go. You see, isn't it wonderful? Oh, we are just falling. Genius concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top. And we can continue onward. Why is it G? Why if I just keep leaving it here? Ah. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Why? Am I about to get hit by a... Am I, am I about to hit, like, the surface? I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerate... <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely oh. telescopic oh. in nature. It's more of a... Okay. I well, knew it. Good I knew it. You found the bottom of the hole. Is there a mug here? Out, New mug. I'm a liar and cheat and you're meeting at 2 p.m. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. Yeah. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely. Fall in it. was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. Yo, chill out, man. <sighs> Look, uh, you just started on yourself. Here, I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Yeah. Why don't we have Arsehole. all this behind? And agreed to just call the hole mostly infinite. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hold and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Okay, I'll go up. Great. Now, I'm oh. very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Oh, is this the same? Oh, okay, because the top was open before. Okay, I got you. Slightly exaggerated hole. Okay. All right, let's go get that um, that reassurance bucket. I guess. Unless, why is there, is that supposed to be Stanley? He looks like a Rick and Morty character. He looks like Jerry Smith. If you don't know, watch Rick and Morty. If you want to get to know me that much, go watch that. It's my favorite show. Can you find them? I assume you mean collectibles. Yeah, collect them all. What am I collect? What is that? That is bright. Collectibles. Mm. Now it's a real video game. It is. In the Stanley Parable Two, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. Oh, for sake. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable. Ah, I'm gonna assume that they're gonna be hidden during my actual playthrough of this game. So let's, let's grab it. One out of six. <laughs> Am I actually collecting these? Oh, great. Okay, we're back at the start. All right. Uh, yeah. So I guess it's. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely. Trash. No, because the amount of the amount of games I put my effort into and get nothing from collectibles. Terraria, I'm looking at you. I'm currently on a mission to finish. Um, all of Terraria's achievements. I literally have like two more to go. It just requires me fishing, and it's it's it's, it's boring. But we have to get it done. Was that it was confusing and paradoxical. So you give me a bucket. There's no bucket. Right. Hello. I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. Where is it? You see, Stanley, oh. <laughs> every time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill you. Yes. <laughs> long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes. Oh, he swore naughty. Come on, give it a try. Open it then. Thank you. Um, you feel it? yeah. The glow of comfort, even in the face of <laughs> despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. I'm quite attractive on my own, thank you. Benefits of the I think. Go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. I think I'm the perfect package for a man, to be honest. I have great hair. I make YouTube videos on games that people find funny. And I look great. Just waiting for someone to agree with me. That's all I'm waiting for. But I think I look attractive as fuck. Enough of that. So where, where do I go now? Anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video? <laughs> yeah. That really should be an award if it isn't. What's over here? Oh wait, this, this is where I came from. Okay. So where do I go now? I assume I'm supposed to find everything. What is up? How do I get up there? That's new. But how do I get up there? Is it like a staircase or nearby? Oh, exit. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna assume that we've done it all. The jump circle I've already seen, because that's literally just jumping. Let's get out of it. Let's let's go. Let's let's dip. Yeah, exit. Cool. I love how it's like half red and half like gray. Right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Yeah. Ready to move on now? Mm. Let's let's go. Is that? Oh, that's Stanley. Wait, he's me. Oh, that that's that's pretty cool art to be fair. If it actually is a Stanley Parable too, I would love to see it. Okay. So Stanley, what do you think? 
Do you like all of the new features? Yeah. Because I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but hmm. I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. It's going to work. It's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. Right. I'll arrange whoa, whoa, whoa. features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres. Stand in the light, just like every video game taught me. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Oh. Is that it? Um <laughs> well, I mean there's potential here, right? Yeah. Sort of okay, never mind. Hold on. Wait, there's Let's figures down there. Through. How do I get down there? How do I Okay, oh. yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about here we go. Version two. <laughs> this looks awful. Who am I kidding, Stanley? The jump circle into it's the infinite hole. Video game at all. It's a lot of gags, and I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't have <laughs> anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it, no matter how good these gags are. They won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new... Oh, no. This is yes, 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 gonna get... With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Well, I suppose it could. This is gonna get chaotic. <laughs> really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Okay, we're taking a look. Oh, my. Oh. The Stanley Parable 2. It, it, is this like a new game? What the fuck? Okay, let's, let's start it. Let's go. Give me that new content. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Is this all the same? Stanley worked for a oh, no. In a big building nope. When the balloons are around. Four, and the balloons are there. That means it's different, right? Four, four, two, job was Let's let it run out, see if he changes Stanley the dialogue. In room four, two, seven, and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor in his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them. And in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul ripping, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. I guess I, I guess I did that. I guess I, I'm doing that. Jesus Christ. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could okay, he well, someday. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I like work. I just hate my boss. Same. <laughs> no matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. So, oh, the book here. Oh. oh. Stanley picked up the bucket. I did pick up the bucket. You're right. And oh, is this okay? This is all. Is this just this the same game, just with the uh, thing? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest <laughs> and entered the door on his left. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll follow along. I'll follow along. See so what the content's saying. Is this is this it? Just the bucket follows me during this detour of the same game. Still, no one was here. Okay. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort <laughs> more than ever. 
Monetize free to play. Can I get the broom closet with this? Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? No. The broom closet. It wants the bucket. <laughs> you can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy. It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. <laughs> I can feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. Oh, no. We're getting into name-calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream <laughs> of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley. I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons. Mm. But even this is worse than I had imagined. <laughs> and wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends. I find that offensive, that your man. relationship is purely superficial and convenient. No. That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner. Well, I never. Go on, Stan. <laughs> Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. Uh, no, I'm a coward. No. <laughs> I can't remember what's that. I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. <laughs> Coming to a stairs, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Okay, cool. Let's go. <laughs> Property of Stanley. Fair play. Fair play. Okay, this is all the same. This is all the same. Okay. Let's do, let's do it normally. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. I forgot what the code is. By the weight of this Two, eight, eight. Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire. I don't remember what the code was. I'm trying to think of the Even one though, from the uh, Manda game. Hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light Two, eight, dark four, of confusion five. and chaos? But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. <laughs> Was it the bucket knew all of yeah, the yeah the bucket knows. The bucket guiding him? Yes. Yes. This is certainly <laughs> the logical explanation. I thought so. Alright, so I, am I on the lookout for these figure Ah I was about to say am I on the lookout for these figurines? I found one. You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. <laughs> no reward for collecting all of these, only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. Thank you. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. Oh, thank you, I, I, I guess. Okay, let's just go, go down the, the lift. The elevator. The lift. Me and the bucket are best pals. We've got this in the bag. <laughs> this, is, this is actually like really fun. I can't even lie. The mind. elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Yeah, of course. Here for you, Stanley. We got you, mate. We got you. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. We did just that. We did do just that. Uh, okay, so I don't think this is different from the, the dialogue. An enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. Stanley and the bucket. <laughs> so is this the Stanley parable or the Stanley and the bucket parable? I don't understand the correlation here. The monitors jumped Whoa. Tonight, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. <laughs> Everyone in the office was being videotaped. 
monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Everything is fine. I don't know why it's crying for. We, we're going to make it out alive, trust me. Was the bucket under the mind control of <laughs> his influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? Uh. What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. <laughs> no! He screamed. The bucket. The he couldn't <laughs> accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. Yeah, the, the bucket is my guy. Trust me. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. My happiness is all the same. Eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. <laughs> best friend, Stanley and the bucket up against the world. Nice. They high-fived in a really cool way. And the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Bang. There you go. We took it down. Sucks to be you, but me and the bucket have got it under control. Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes. Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy. Freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control <laughs> machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on earth. Both of them wanted <laughs> what? to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support, and to... Oh, oh, well, oh. Wait, what was happening? Oh, shit. Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room. Uh, in uncertainty. Let me, let me. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. The no. Itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket. No, no. No. Stanley can't leave this place. Oh, he's Not doomed. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. Bruh, not the bucket. Okay, wow, we're getting places. If oh, that this, the sequel is now paused. Okay, um, I'm really ending this episode because as of recording, I need to be up for work very early tomorrow morning, so I had to go to bed at some point. So I'm gonna do that now. But we're getting somewhere. The Steam reviews are are pouring in. The bucket is reassuring. Stanley is fucked. And the narrator is still a joker. But thank you all for watching anyway. If you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe. If you are new, more Stanley Parable coming your way. If you haven't, check out my final episode of Amanda the Adventurer. I would recommend that watch. If you want a more chilled out, late experience like this, subscribe if you're new. I'm trying to hit 200 subscribers by the end of the year or my 21st birthday, which is literally the end of the year. So I would appreciate it if we can celebrate my 21st with a new milestone. Um... And the new achievements. But until then, I'm going to call it a day. Stay safe. Much love. Peace out.